<laughs> cool, what is up? So, here's our setup. This has been an awesome customer for us. Um, he's kind of being <laughs> hit with whatever. All his trees are dying. Um, I'm suspecting verticillium wilt for this maple down here. Right next to the pool. So the plan is to get a soil sample and send that to a local college, uh, Michigan State University. This tree has some chlorosis and you can see the leaves are kind of curling in on themselves too. And this one just died out of nowhere. Very healthy tree last year and um, just never budded out. So that's why it died fast. You can see some suckers pop through, but whatever um yeah so i'm kind of really landing on verticillium weld so that's our plan we're going to remove this also we should see like a dark discoloration in um the xylem or sapwood and that'll kind of confirm it but yeah that's the the plan we're going to do a soil sample to get what kind of uh nutrients is are in this area and yeah cool but sweet let's cut this thing down cool so yeah i'll say um that's kind of our plan is to just add fertilizer and make sure these trees are getting as much uh nutrients as they need just to kind of protect it from whatever is going on um i will say uh msu michigan state university let's see here yeah msu michigan state university has a like a hotline it's a I'll leave the number uh, going across the screen right now. But um, yeah, it's like a 24 seven hotline, I think. Or no, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday between normal working hours. But you can call a gardener and ask for advice if you come across anything sort of puzzling like this. So cool, yeah, let's, um, let's get after it. So what we're looking for is a discoloration in the wood. I don't want to go off that. See, that might be it. That's it. That's kind of cool. We diagnosed this with verticillium wilt. And um, I'm like now convinced that's exactly what it is. Cause we see a, I'll try to get a, a picture. I'll, I'll cut a smaller limb and show you the butt. But there's like these brown spots in the sapwood. And that's where the fungus lives. And it's just literally, here. If I understand this right, I don't think, we'll try another one. Um, hey, Jared, can you cut off the end of that? Cut off the end of that limb and put it in my truck, please. Uh, like the butt end? Yeah, yeah, just like a small section. All right. Um, there definitely was like discoloration and if we see that again, um, that's going to be proof of the fungus living in this tree. And I'm, I'm sure of it that that's what killed it. All right, so verticillium wilt for sure. You can see these black rings. That's the fungus. You can see little speckled dots in the sapwood too. So... From what I understand, oak wilt looks pretty close to the same thing, too. Um, then also, uh, we're definitely, 
gonna wanna fertilize this area because that side, that tree is starting to uh, wilt as well. Um, hopefully we can get either us or we recommend somebody, hopefully we can get fertilizer on the ground to just uh, bring the nutrient levels back up so this tree can fight fight this thing. Um, but yeah, so that kind of, that's what I was anticipating seeing and kind of confirms in my mind that this tree died of uh, verticillium wilt. We're gonna definitely want to treat the soil. I think this part is what I could find um, for verticillium wilt is uh, you just have to keep the trees as, um, like keep their nutrients up. The vigor, yeah, look at all that. Look at all this, that's not good. That's all wilting. So we're gonna wanna fertilize the soil or else they're gonna lose this tree too. And then probably come through and prune out all of the dead. So yeah, oh well, kind of, it's kind of a tough one. I don't think there's like a cure for uh, verticillium wilt. Sure, cut that. Was it running? Or no? Just kind of telling them. Uh, yeah, there's not much brush on the ground, is there?
a guy. Heads up. This over here, so it stays away from my climb line, and it'll bring a rope straight down and make it easier for the ground guys. Uh, no, no, no. So I just realized I missed the tops, but they looked something like this. <laughs> Look at that pollen, dude. <laughs>
All right, this is super cool too. So I was showing the heartwood, the center of the tree, but I just cut into a nub. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the dolly. And you can see yeah. how the fungus, uh, the wilt, the fungus, I believe it's a fungus, I could be wrong. If I am wrong, leave it in the comments, but you can see it's way of working. You can see it, um, you can see it working itself uh, through a limb too, which is super interesting. <laughs> All right, cool, so that's down. Let's take a look at this stump. Um, you'll still be able to see the, uh, like the decay or the fungus, whatever it is, I'm still learning. But just to show that it affects the tree from the canopy all the way down to the bottom. We have that strong discoloration in uh, the heartwood um, with these little speckles around it you know i was kind of anticipating more around like the uh cambian layer i know that that's where you'll see the same kind of look with oak welt right around further out around the trunk um but yeah verta verticillium welt um leave a leave a like subscribe if you like this sort of stuff and uh comment if you disagree because um this is just a group effort between me and Darren trying to diagnose that, but I think we're right. Cool, thanks. See you on the next one.